I just got this bolt here loose. I gotta use a little bit of force on this side. I use a set of pliers basically and just to get that loose and then here I'm just getting the the bolt completely out. The bolt won't fall out but you'll know when it's loose from the steering wheel. From the airbag actually. On the other side there's another bolt right here, which I already got loose basically. And here out comes the airbag. You gotta handle this with care. There are the connections to the airbag. You pull this out with a screwdriver. Be careful with this. Pull this one out too. We got one more connection right there. And handle the airbag with care. Now, right in the center of the airbag, you can't see it on the video, but right in the center, you got a a, a bolt. In this case, it's a 10 millimeter. But uh, it, it might have a nut, or depends. Uh, what you need to do is basically put a little bit of force on this. What um, I recommend is have somebody hold it. Um, try to hold it as much as I can with my legs here. You don't want to put all this force in the in the steering column lock right there. But there we go. So that will come out. One thing you gotta keep in mind is the position where the steering wheel, where it is when you take it off. Right there, you have a groove, and then you have a line here that will match up. You don't wanna, you kind of wanna remember where that is. And then, plus the clock spring itself, um, it will, it will rotate, but you don't. Let me show you actually on the clock, clock spring what I, I mean. So here's the clock spring. So this part will rotate fairly. If you go around like this now, and you, you go ahead, steering wheel will still go back in here. But what will happen is that the, this is how the car knows what, what position your steering wheel is. Now it's thinking you actually have turned your, your steering wheel. So if you do this and you put the steering wheel back on, as soon as you start driving the car, you're gonna get a light. It's gonna say, "Hey, uh, stability control is off," and you know I have more errors than that. So keep in mind the position of this. Don't rotate this too many times, or well, it has to actually be exactly where it was. Um, and one way to know is spin this all the way to the side and know how many how many turns it took. So what I will do, I'll go to the left and see. I got one, two, three. I actually can go more, but I don't want to keep going on that. But yeah, otherwise, this is a little bit tricky. You you don't want to mess this too much, or you will have an error when you put it all back together. And the next thing, if you take off the clock spring, you got these screws. They look like they're talks. Um, so you just remove these springs and the clock spring comes straight up. And that's all, and just to put it back in and you just go in reverse order. 